Hey Aqua, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Aquarius placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rows. Take what resonates, leave it doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you peace, love, happiness, joy, and light on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. Okay, and please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. So let's see what's going on, Aquarius. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. <laughs> Divination abuser and under spiritual attacks. So, hmm. whatever so let's see uh yeah spirit gods angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please return any spell work please <laughs> please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender spirit guide and protect me as i channel these messages here for aquarius block any interferences that could be trying to stop the messages from coming through please and thank you clear honest <laughs> and accurate messages for my aquas Okay, let's see. Hmm. Should I take it? Hustling, making it rain, focused on money, getting it. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. It flipped over, so I'll just take it. Let's see. And then we have always partying. marrying for money <laughs> okay parenting focusing on your children yeah i was getting ready to say you know for some of you aquarius your priorities are together you're getting your priorities in check or they've been in check and somebody else around you this could be the the parent you know the mother of your child the father of your child this person they want to party and they want to do this and that. And I feel like you're focused on making money and bringing more stability and security in for, excuse me, for your kids, your family, yourself. Okay, somebody, somebody here could be trying to finesse you or like just, you know, abuse their position of authority. Like, oh, like for example, like if this is your baby mama Aquarius or baby daddy, whatever, but baby mama it's like uh well if that's the mother of my child i'm supposed to be giving them money or i'm supposed to be da -da -da -da. yeah i mean you're supposed to be giving the money for your children <laughs> not for this hoe to be going out and spending it on fucking wow ace of cups ace of pentacles on drugs and and to be given to their friends for an outing or a trip it's like you know what i'm saying i mean you can't really monitor what people do with their money but i'm saying like this is the kind of person because it's okay to give your baby mama money i mean you need to kind of like reimburse them for especially if you are co-parenting the mother just seems to always have the child more but it could be flipped because there could be mothers obviously that are not fit parents or they don't just don't have the schedule or the time you know because of the kind of job they work or whatever the case may be you know different circumstances for different people different dynamics but Whatever, y'all get what I'm trying to say. This is a hoe, okay? They want to keep somebody around for money and they, they want to try to use the kids for it. They want to try to use the kids as a pawn to make it seem like they're just good parent or that they, they're using the money for something involving their kids. No, they're using this money to go out and buy alcohol and party and drugs and whatever the fuck else. <laughs> so y'all get what I'm trying to say because I'm not trying to offend nobody, but you know how people get in the comments and I don't feel like hearing that shit. Motherfuckers like to purposely misconstrue what you're trying to say. And, you know, this is a little sensitive subject for some people. So I ain't trying to make nobody mad, y'all. Uh, I don't got time. But anyways, let's see. What's hustling here? For Aquas, what is this hustling card? Yeah, Six of Cups. Focusing on your children. Okay, just period. Uh, let's see what's hustling for Aqua.
came right back out. <laughs> the Six of Cups of so Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys could be thinking about someone from your past or they're thinking about you. This person could have intentions on bringing you some sort of gift, a present. Okay, some of you guys could be using your gifts here. Whatever your talent is or whatever your creative pursuits are, you could be using them to make money. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, so that could be what's happening. Let's see. But somebody here could be thinking about you. There could be like a gift coming in or somebody wants to bring you a gift. Let's see. Or this is what you're doing with somebody. Yeah, the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be doing something online. There's something that you're really good with doing. Okay. You guys could be opening up some sort of online business or you have an online business. It could be an entrepreneur. But the world, yeah, so I feel like there's a cycle closed out. The gift could be your children because this could be the kind of parent. I mean, if they're always partying and if they're a gold digger, then that's just their character. <laughs> their character is to fucking act a damn fool and not put their kids first. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just giving. You close the cycle out with this person, Aquarius, and there's a new beginning here. Now, there could be a new beginning for some of you with somebody from your past that's worthy of a second chance okay so if they're not worthy of a second chance then i'm not talking about you and the past person okay for for others of you this could just be a past life soulmate that is coming towards you for a new beginning this could be a new person you feel me but for maybe a lot of you it could be the past okay <clears throat> <clears throat> what's the world A lot of you guys could really be doing something to really fuel your inner child. Like you're doing something that you've always wanted to do here. You're chasing your dreams. You're following your dreams here. There could be some travel indicated. You guys could be moving or you move around a lot for work. Yeah, on two of cups and three of cups. Somebody could be coming to see you. Uh, this person could be, they could have Sagittarius in their chart. Some of y'all have closed a cycle out with the Sagittarius or somebody that's just been in and out of your life, hot and cold, back and forth. Okay, you're done dealing with them and you're focused on your money. This could be this parenting card, if you're a child's mother, a child's father. But um, on the other hand, there could be somebody here wants to come in and like sweep you off your feet. They could have to travel to see you though. You guys could be at a distance. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> What's the Six of Cups? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to balance their work life and their personal life is what I get with that, to be honest. Someone is trying to balance their finances out as well. Because they, I feel like they have you in mind. I really do. Someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. I don't get that somebody's like juggling or they're wanting somebody else or anything like that. I mean, maybe they were with somebody else, obviously, or they're just like, they could not even be with this person physically. They could still have some sort of emotional tie to them that needs to close out. Like, cause these cars are just energy. So if you're thinking that somebody is with somebody, for some of you, they could not be. Okay. They're just trying to maybe heal from the situation and move forward. Maybe somebody won't release them or let their ass go. Clearly, it's what it looks like to me. What's the Six of Cups with the Two of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be hoping that you're kind of like open to an opportunity. Because the Two of Pentacles talks about being flexible, yeah. Adaptable and open to like changes or being adaptable to changes. So yeah, something is changing in somebody's career and somebody's life so things could be like fluctuating or something is up and down or somebody could be trying to decide if they should come towards you but i feel like it's more so them trying to come towards you or you go towards them or a particular thing and um it's just things are changing now so they're trying to see where they can put you you know fit you in their priority list with everything else that they got going on is what i'm getting somebody's finances are balancing out or something so 
somebody, this person, they just got a lot on their plate is what it sounds like to me. And they move around a lot, whoever this is. Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm not getting bad energy <laughs> from that. So, what's always partying? Yeah, especially if they have some sort of um baby mama, baby daddy or whatever that's just like irresponsible. Somebody got to take care of these kids or this child if it's just one. It's like, I mean, someone could be getting custody of their children. Okay, yeah, that could be the change. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, my nose. These allergies. Ugh. So the Ten of Wands, yeah, somebody is, but they got a lot going on. Yeah, somebody is carrying carrying a big burden. And it's because somebody is irresponsible. Why they baby mama, baby daddy go out and party and try to look cute and try to look whatever or whatever for the world to see. This person is stuck with the response with the extra responsibility. And I feel like maybe they don't mind it because they love their kids or whatever the case may be, but that's just what the what the, the situation is. <laughs> you know, like somebody got a lot going on. What's always partying with the Ten of Wands? Oh, this is about to end here. Somebody's gonna have to step up to the plate, and if they don't, then that's just I guess they just won't be seeing their kids. And that's sad. You feel me? Like, I mean. Ain't nobody finna put their life on hold or do whatever for you to, like, run around and party. Like, like I'm just getting, like, say, for example, somebody got to go to work in the morning <clears throat> and this person don't got no job. They're laying around. They wake up in the morning and drink or smoke and then they sit around all fucking day. And it's like, you don't want to do anything. But I'm the one that has to wake up in the morning, get the kids dressed get them ready for school, da, 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 make breakfast, do all this shit. Like, I feel like that's about to end. Somebody's priorities are fucked up. And I feel like, to be honest, for some of you, you don't even give a fuck because you don't, you might, you don't mind taking care of your kids, but I feel like somebody might need help or support. Okay, somebody could like work a lot. They work for themselves though, but still, when you even when you work for yourself, that's still more work really <laughs> than going to a job, to be honest. People think that shit is easy, it's not. So, um, yeah, this is Ten of Wands, Three of Cups. Somebody does. They hang with their friends a lot. The, the, this person has time to enjoy themselves and really do whatever the fuck they want to do. They're not the ones stressing or worried about their children or taking their children to school, whatever else. They're too busy partying. This is a mess. What's this? Um, so, I mean, Aquarius, this could be, you know, lack of fun, lack of spontaneity. Some of you guys need to... Get yourself out of this funk, okay? If you got a babysitter or if you got time <clears throat> to take off work a little bit and, like, take your kids to their grandma or their grandpa or whatever the fuck so you can get a break, then you deserve that, right? Or whatever. Just to, like, chill. But what's the Ten of Wands? Yeah, the High Priestess. Somebody could be sexually deprived. <laughs> Okay, I just heard you could be dealing with a Pisces or you could be on the cusp, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like somebody is hiding how either deprived they are sexually or, you know, just hiding how much they have to do. I feel like you're understanding. If this, if this is you as a divine feminine and, and if this is your masculine dealing with this, I feel like you are understanding of this person. Okay. Mm, this person here, whoever this third party, well, yeah, this could be a third party. <laughs> whoever this person is could be sick be, from running around and having sex with too many people. Okay. Or they got addictions or something like that. What's the Ten of Wands with the High Priestess? Okay, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like, like I said, uh, yeah, Judgment and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be able to, they're working hard to give to you here. Whoever this is, child, they is, I like that. <laughs> I don't know, but don't, I mean, shit, don't work yourself to the point where you're tired and stressed and shit. Somebody is working hard, though, to give you a Pentacle. Like, this Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning, 
I feel like somebody's working hard for to give you this, but this could be you working hard to give yourself this. Some of y'all are getting a home, a car. You're trying to start a new business or you're trying to add more shit into your schedule. So you're trying to clear things out. I just feel like you have a lot going on, but <clears throat> yeah, somebody is releasing or walking away from being used or taken for granted or just, just being stressed out so that way they can you know prioritize you or you got other shit to prioritize you feel me like this is that's what this is what's the three of cups so this is definitely a new beginning coming somebody is working hard child to get their fucking money right i know that's right period what's three of cups this could be a reconciliation with the three of cups but i okay yeah seven of cups in reverse Scorpio, Venus. What's the three of cups with the seven of cups in reverse? 747 on the clock. <clears throat> yeah, the fool. There you are, Aquarius. So, yeah. Some illusion or some confusion has cleared here. I feel like somebody is clear about what they want. Okay, and what they want to do. Somebody's in for a big-ass reality check, or this is somebody having a reality check. I feel like it's whoever this is that's always partying, because I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's whoever the fuck this is that's doing too much and they ain't got their priorities together, <clears throat> that's playing around too damn much with their life. They're in for a reality check, because you're breaking free. With the, the fool, there's a new beginning. And for some of you, you're going to reconcile with somebody from your past. Okay, that's just for some of you. Not everybody. Especially for those of you that want a past person. <clears throat> and usually when I pick up that, uh, there's a possible chance for a reconciliation with a past person. It's because, <clears throat> excuse me, there was just a bad timing or something. Or somebody here had a third party that's just been trying to get in the way and all that shit. Like, a lot of y'all don't want your past, but it's because they fucking abused you. They were nasty to you. They were cheating. They were lying. Things like that. I don't feel like it's this. I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's things just y'all just i don't know it just didn't work at that time it wasn't meant to happen at that time okay so <clears throat> yeah i feel like somebody's realizing that someone is is um a superficial like a, a goat yeah a gold digger they just very materialistic and i feel like they're in for a rude awakening because you're you're moving forward that's just what it is. You're going to take time for you and, and have time to play around too. Like, you deserve that, especially if you're the one doing everything. What the fuck? <clears throat> What's marrying for money? Some of you guys are sobering up here. The Seven of Cups in Reverse could be could mean sobriety. So, congrats if this is you. You could be sobering up. Somebody here could drink a lot or they overindulge in something. Too much of something yeah that's nice you could be, be meeting um people that you actually resonate with aquarius like people that are going to help you grow as you trans um as you uh, transition into this new phase of your journey especially if you're sobering up or you're <clears throat> you're healing from addictions or, or whatever you obviously want to be around people that are not on that type of time that are you know, that you that you can relate to that is actually trying to grow with you and not, you know, stunt your growth. So that's nice. So what's marrying for money? <clears throat> yeah, look, four swords with the hermit. Somebody is in like counseling or therapy or something, or this could be mediation. Because for some of you, you could be getting a divorce. <laughs> okay, that's what I just heard. Just period. Libra Jupiter here, we got a uh, Virgo. Somebody could be getting like some sort of spiritual counseling too. This could be like somebody meditating more, doing yoga, or um, just healing. <clears throat> somebody could be sick, child. The four souls with the hermit. Somebody could need to see a doctor or they're, I don't know. Somebody could be a prostitute or something. I don't I don't know what the... Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, yeah. 
Um, so the hermit is, is introspection, is soul searching, is self evaluation, or something here is coming to light internally about this person. It's like, who the fuck did I get married to? Who did I fucking settle down with? This is not the person that I thought I knew. <laughs> you know, let's see, what's the four swords? Some of you guys have ghosted somebody or you're just like in, in solitude. You're in you're in a peaceful state of mind, finally, is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing like, finally, I can rest, I can chill, I can relax, it's quiet. <laughs> somebody really likes their alone time. They don't like a loud mouth ass person. What's the four of swords? I know I don't, damn. Mm. I'm quiet most of my life. Like every day, I, I like to be quiet. <laughs> like all this fucking... What's the four swords? There's no I feel like somebody is so is the total opposite of someone else. They're loud and they like to do too much. Yeah, the stud child. Yeah, somebody is is sick. Okay. The star in reverse with the four swords and the hermit. Somebody could need to be hospitalized or I don't know, Aquarius. This could be another Aquarius. Because the star reverse talks about feeling hopeless or in despair or bored. I feel like somebody just sleeps all day. They, <laughs> This person is getting to my damn nerves. They, they sound lazy as fuck. And they sound like they ain't got no work ethic. It's just annoying. So with the star, that just talks about in reverse. Like somebody just is just not okay. What's the four swords with the star in reverse? I feel like maybe somebody's like stressed. Or this could be you, Aquarius. <clears throat> What's the four swords with the star in reverse? Yeah, the page cups in reverse. Yeah, and the ten of swords in reverse. <clears throat> Gemini energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, seven of wands. Yeah, you're blocking the hell out of whoever this is. This person could be very envious or jealous. Okay, they really only give a fuck. They're obsessed with how they look to the public. This person is just a loser. They lame as hell. And I feel like you're tired of dealing with their ass. Somebody here really needs to heal their inner child, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, for some of you, somebody is, they do have something. Somebody got something from being promiscuous, sleeping around with the Page of Cups in reverse. This person, th there's some bad news here. And this is that somebody is sick. Whatever somebody did to get money... Somebody got some really bad addictions here that they maybe have hidden from you. I don't know. Somebody, people are really good at hiding certain things. I don't know. Mm. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, and the Star in reverse, that is like the worst is yet to come for this person. For some of you, somebody could be actually, they're not going to make it. What's the hermit? Some of you guys are healing from a situation where this person could have even, for some of you, they slept around and they end up getting pregnant. Okay, yeah, confirmation. Nine of Cups and a child ended up not being yours. So you could be healing from that or trying to anyway. It's hard, possibly, especially if you already like connected to a child and they're not yours. That's tough. But what's the hermit? Mm. Somebody's baby mama or baby daddy is a fucking mess. OK, yeah, three of swords, mm, Libra Saturn. What's the harmony with the three of swords? Yeah, it's this third party. You got to be seeing three, three, three. The emperor in reverse. Could be an Aries. Now, this could be a masculine woman. Okay, they, you know, Aries is a masculine sign. They could actually be very feminine, but they could be, they could have Aries in their chart somewhere. I don't know, but the emperor in reverse could be a man for some of you. Yeah, for some of you guys, you ended up not being the father of someone's child, Okay. Mm. And I feel like that really, like, really broke your heart here. Three of Swords. 
So you could be doing some like some soul searching. Just sent you into a deep spiritual awakening because that's not cool. But yeah, because the emperor does talk about somebody that has like paternity issues or somebody could just not be the father of the child. Um, for some of you, a child could be sick. Okay, this is like I'm just getting karma for acting a damn fool and trying to do something to you here. This somebody's like getting some bad karma. Okay, for for just acting out, um, for trying to abuse their position of authority. Page of Swords. What's this Emperor in Reverse? What do they do? Nine of Swords in Reverse. What's the Emperor in Reverse? Nine of Swords in Reverse. Gemini, Mars. Yeah, Page of Swords. So somebody here, this person could be watching you, Aqua, or this is you watching somebody. But they're definitely, they definitely have their eyes on you here. This person could have played a lot of mind games. Or whatever they did, whatever they were trying to plan or strategize or do to you, I feel like obviously it backfired, it didn't fucking work, or it didn't go through, <clears throat> or whatever this is. Now somebody is being haunted. Nine of Swords in reverse with all the other cards surrounding it. They ask, this person is, is they're aging very quickly, I, I, should, I, I should say. <clears throat> because um, somebody here could even be like passing away from a broken heart. That's definitely possible. I've heard of that different stories about that yeah look at the bottom of the deck heartbroken <laughs> this person is just they're letting their addictions or whatever this is get the best of them here mm. somebody could definitely be being haunted it's not a swords in reverse they could talk about moving away from anxiety but I don't feel like it's for them. I feel like maybe it's for you. But for this person, they are really being haunted. They could be having nightmares, not of swords in reverse. It could also mean um, like just really depressed and down and really in deep, deep, deep regret or remorse. Or they're just really, really heartbroken. Like they're really in pain. I feel like physically and emotionally, mentally, it's just like all of it. Well, child, what's parenting? Yeah, there's a child there. Page of Pentacles. What's parenting? Yeah, so for some of you, a child wasn't yours. It's like one of these children was not yours. There could be two kids, but one of them is not. Like this person could have ended up being pregnant, but it's because they were fucking around with somebody else. Or they already with somebody else that you didn't know about. I don't know. But what's parenting with the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, so some of y'all could be getting custody of a child for some of you even. Okay, um, but yeah, cancer energy, this child could be a cancer. They could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somewhere in their chart, or that could be their sun sign. But there is uh, some good news that could be coming in, Aquarius, which uh, in regards to your finances. Some of you guys could be getting a new car or getting your car worked on, okay? You could be getting, like, just a starter car for some of you, like a car to get you to and from until you can make enough money to get a the car that you dream that you dreamt of. You feel what I'm saying? So whatever it is, it don't even matter. It's yours and it's going to get your ass to work and get your children to daycare or whatever the hell you got to do. <laughs> That's all that matters. Fuck it. It's yours. Um, but yeah, there's... There's like victory here. You're triumphing for some of you over getting at your child. But let's see. What's the Page of Pentacles? Or it's just like you're starting fresh. If a child isn't yours, it's like you're planting new seeds to move forward. Some of y'all definitely travel could be indicated. So you could be taking your child and moving. Okay, you're able to. It's like a new door has opened. You're able to do this shit now. Because at first you couldn't. The, whatever this is right here needed to be taken care of first with this person and this third party and whatever else. What's the Page of Pentacles? That's too many. Way too many. What's the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, 
Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, something about your work. So congrats, Aquarius. It looks like you're getting a new job, making more money. Or if you're an entrepreneur, you're definitely your your money, you're getting a raise, a promotion, or you're getting more clientele, or whatever this is. There's positivity coming in for your finances. Okay. Somebody here works hard, child. This person, they they priorities is really together. This person could have Capricorn in their chart somewhere too. A lot of Virgo possibly or Taurus. But I'm getting Virgo and Capricorn a lot. Um Yeah, someone is focused on doing something, building something. Yeah, that's eight pentacles. We have a pentacle here with the knight of pentacles and a page of pentacles. So that's ten pentacles. Somebody's trying to build a legacy here, build generational wealth. Like, they're really focused on money and their children. What's the chariot? The ace of swords. What's the chariot with the ace of swords? So yeah, you got some sort of victory in something, uh, Aquarius. So you could be moving forward with a new idea. Okay, you're getting confirmation too from your angels, your spirit team, that travel is a good idea. You moving is a good idea. Thank you, spirit. Confirmation. Six of swords and the ace of cups. So for some of you on your travels, you're going to meet somebody that's actually going to be your partner or you're going to just fall in love with a job. There's a good job here. Something that you really are going to love to do like your emotions are attached to whatever this is okay um you definitely have some good ideas here that you need to put into motion okay put out there or whatever but this is like an aha moment or clarity or a big yes about you moving forward you could be moving closer to somebody yeah this person from your past possibly for some of you you could be moving closer to them or they're moving closer to you one or the other. I don't know. Or you're going to just go see them for a couple weeks. I don't fucking know. But I feel like there's big changes here happening with your finances and a big move with your children. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, so you you are um, taking back your power. You have taken back your power in a situation. And I feel like you have mental clarity. You're clear about what you want to do. Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody is very methodical. They're very strategic. <laughs> they don't... They This person is very practical and logical. They don't really... They have to make sense out of some shit before they, they move forward, you know, which is good. Yeah, healthy choices. So, yeah, something is manifesting here for sure. Something about your kids, making more money, traveling. Okay, there could be, you know, somebody from your past you have in mind that you want to be with. I just feel like things are coming together. This is nice. And this other person, they are, I don't know what's happening with them, but... You know, I guess let spirit handle them the way that they're supposed to be handled because they must have did something. Okay, something is backfiring. <laughs> something is really backfiring here. Yeah, look, child, the death card, I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know. But something is over for you. So, and it's good. So, whatever, you know. Mm hmm. It's like you're leaving somebody to deal with their own mental health issues alone because I feel like they're projecting onto you and it's not fair. Yeah, divine masculine partying and finality. So yeah, this person is putting that shit behind them or this, whatever lifestyle that they were living or whatever, whoever they were with that was always partying or whatever, they're leaving that shit behind. But we have breaking point, limit, final straw, overwhelmed. Yeah. Somebody somebody really wants to change their life. They're tired of being in the same place, in the same area, with the same bitches, doing the same shit. It's just like time for a life change. <laughs> okay, it says mirror, mirroring each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. Somebody could be tired of not speaking to you, not talking to you. Yeah, separation and hoping exactly it says sadness bitterness missing you thinking about you uncertain future yeah somebody is like tired of missing you or or tired of y'all being separated so they take an action for some of you you're tired of somebody 
Yeah, I just saw the chaser and a runner. So you could be dealing with a twin Aquarius. I feel like somebody's tired of the back and forth. But, um, or this could be like I was saying, you could be, you're at your breaking point when it comes down to dealing with whoever this is that's doing too much of this partying and shit like that. So you're separating, you're realizing that they just are mirroring your shadow self and the side of you that really needs to be healed so you can move into healthier relationships or healthier people in general. You know, but what's breaking point? Let me see. Yeah, Phoenix, exactly. Somebody's had enough of something. New phase and rekindle, renew and growth, change mind, rise from ashes. So yeah, I'm getting the judgment. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or you have that in your chart. So yeah, this person, for some of you with this energy right here, this person is coming back for a second chance. <laughs> Okay, with you, I feel like this person also is learning how to, or this is you, flip the roles, but somebody is learning how to forgive themselves for certain things, for certain decisions that they've made in their life, and they're just moving forward. They're tired of, like, being victim or, or being stuck in a victim mentality. It's like somebody wants different for themselves. What's mirror? <laughs> Emotional storm, yeah. Turmoil, unstable, and affected. Yeah, somebody is feeling... I feel like somebody's feeling a separation with you. Like, they feel it for sure. <laughs> They're tired of that shit. What else? What's separation? And then they've been going through some shit with this bitch. Yeah, conflict, clashing differences, incompatibility. What's separation? What conflict? Yeah, foundation. Established family insecurity. So somebody has been in conflict with the mother or father of their kids or a family member. Or whatever the case may be. Somebody is separating from a family member. Because there's too many differences. There's too many incompatibilities. It's just not working. It's been not working. And I feel like it's because of somebody's addictions or something. They just... I don't know. They just stuck in that... They're stuck in that victim mentality and don't want to work on themselves. So somebody don't want to deal with that shit. Rightfully so. So let's see what else. Fantasy, daydreaming, imagining, fantasize, healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity, yeah, or addiction, an abusive relationship. Yeah, something, this shit was an illusion. Somebody was trauma bonding, yeah, seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party, yeah, temptation. So this person here, they, they, they could have something that they can't get rid of. And it could be too that they're, they're drinking a lot or they, they're, they're abusing substances but it could be that they have some sort of STD or something. It's just something that's causing them to be sick. This person is really, I don't know. What is this seduction card? Yeah, twin flames in reverse. Yin, yang, and balance, union, and duality, complement, and polar opposites. Somebody's a false twin here with twin flames in reverse. Or this is you and your twin flame in separation because of a certain lifestyle your twin was living or a, certain, a particular person that they were dealing with. It's like spirit really tried to like keep you safe because <clears throat> maybe if you continue to deal with this person, they would have had you in a whole heap of shit. And it's like they had to get their shit together. They were, yeah, what's seduction with twin flames in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, camera. Reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. Mm -hmm. This could be a childhood uh, crush. Uh, you've been with this person since you were a child, since y'all were children. This person has always partying or got these addictions or whatever. So, mm -hmm. what's fantasy? Blowing kiss. Unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. Yeah. So somebody here is fantasizing about you or that's what they've been doing. They've always wanted you, whoever this is. They thought that this shit was too good to be true due to a certain whatever influences they had around them or they could have been involved in some shit too. I mean, they're the ones that made it out, I guess. You, you was Aquarius. I feel like I'm talking to another Aquarius, to be honest. But 
you know, flip the rolls. What else, Spirit? We got boundaries here in reverse. No drawing a line in enough. So somebody, yeah, they're not, they haven't had enough of the partying, the drinking, the drugging, the sex, the whatever. Somebody is just, they're going to fucking, yeah, cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced and distorted. I feel like you're really, really seeing somebody's true character, okay? Something has gotten so bad. Maybe they could have hidden it for, they've, they've hid it for a while. But now it's just like some shit is just too much. Or something has came out for you to see somebody's true colors. Yeah, heartbroken. Deeply hurt and sad. Feeling lost, grieving, and despair and breakup. Yeah, this person is sad about this breakup. They don't like the fact that you probably got boundaries now in Aquarius because they don't have any boundaries or self-respect. So they want you to be in, stuck in this same predicament as them. And I feel like every time you try to pull away from this person, something about them, something else about them comes to light. And you're just like really turned off now. You don't want to be bothered with it. We got curse here. Hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so for some of you... Somebody here could be a reader. We got Page of Pentacles right there, the Eight of Pentacles, a magician. Somebody here could be really, could have an idea as far as like their spiritual practices, their spiritual beliefs. Somebody could be tapping into that side of themselves. Okay. Well, someone was, someone has some sort of hex or curse over somebody. Or this is a generational curse. What's this cloudy judgment? Yeah, depth, awareness, importance, and value. Yeah, somebody here couldn't see your value or your worth, or they didn't know their own. And that caused them to not see your worth here. Yeah, so they ended up rejecting you. I feel like that's your divine masculine, divine feminine here, because you, you're exhausted. This is a very long journey here. You're drained, you're depleted, you're tired. So I feel like you could have walked away because they rejected you due to their own lack of... Um, Due to their own lack of uh, self-respect and not knowing their worth. You know, so it's something like that. What's heartbroken? Yeah, only you. Devoted, attached, and craved. So this is this third party too that's heartbroken. Yeah, because you're getting ready to commit to your divine feminine. Somebody's divine masculine has awakened. They, they've awakened like fully, completely. They've healed. They've gone through something. And... um. So this karmic, they ask, is probably overindulging a bit more than what they were at first because they're so upset about this, whatever this new opportunity is that you're getting, especially when it comes down to your work, your stability. And it did say marrying for money. So this person here thought that they was going to get something from you. They're not. They're just not. And it's really just sad that, yeah, sorrow, loss, grief, depression, this person is... They about to drive themselves insane. This is a narcissist here, though. This person here, they feed off of your energy real bad. And it's really, really toxic. They're really, really obsessed. It's not good at all. What else? <laughs> yeah, look, sorrow in reverse. <laughs> Lost, grief, depression. So you're not sad, Aquarius. You're good. You're just trying to focus on your kids. I feel like you've been trying to do this. But this person, they've been probably making you feel guilty. The confusion, it came out in reverse on my lap. So it says uncertain, unclear, and unsure. Yeah. Wedding rings, yeah, in reverse. Union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, devotion. So yeah, this could be a breakup. This could be a divorce. This could be just a long-term relationship here, a domesticated relationship. It's just over. And you're not depressed or sad about anything. That's crazy, ain't it? Somebody, I just feel like somebody been trying to get away from someone. They been trying to. Mm. So, well, it looks good for you, Aquarius. I don't know. I feel like, you know, somebody probably deserves what they're feeling right now because of what they did, especially if they've been on spell work. So... Give me a card for Aquarius.
So we have number 37, Her Little Cauldron. Okay, this deck is called the Solitary Witch Oracle. It says, uh, the bottom of the deck, it says the uh, number 24, the crone in winter. So let's see. It says, there is a woman who dwells in the most humble of circumstances. Far away in the distance is the castle where some have chosen to dwell right in the midst of the world. They seem to have everything. She seems to have nothing. But there are times when they would swap all they have, their power and connections for the true power of the woman in the woods. Her connection is true and deep. She knows the seasons and the animals, and she has lived in ways beyond the need of, needs of others. It does not make her better or superior, but it is her destiny to live outside the very world that so many fight to live within. And the strangeness is that they need her. It is to her they turn for guidance and advice when they have wondered if there is even one true friend in this world. Her simple life, her solitary witch's life, has been without pre pretension, but is filled with a graceful power that flows from deep within her. And while it ebbs and flows, her light has never come close to, dim to dimming. She is sitting quietly now within the tree where so many spells have been woven. She has worked the magic for the others in the cauldron her mother passed on to her. Hmm. So somebody does have ancient knowledge. They have occult knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Somebody is a, a reader. Definitely, yeah, with the high priestess there and the ace of pentacles. Somebody here is definitely a spiritualist or something. Okay, you have that gift. And maybe your divine masculine here, they understand that now. They know it now. They couldn't see it at first. Or they didn't know what this shit was until they realized whoever they was with had a whole curse on them. So that probably was woken this person up to do their research, do their studying, okay, about themselves too. Because if they're a divine masculine, they definitely have an ancient background themselves. They definitely have a gift, okay. Whether you want to call yourself a witch or not, you know, you have that, you have, you know how to do magic. <laughs> you know how to do magic. You have those powers. You have the gift of divination, tarot, whatever, you know, but it says uh, she she shares what she has in the way in the way she has, but she keeps her distance from the castle. Never does she desire to walk within the halls. Never does she wish to feel the gates closed behind her. Her path and yours is freedom born from choice, simplicity, and knowing that power comes from deep within. Everything you do is of help to others, dear witch. You have chosen a kind of freedom that is hard, but is the most rewarding of all. Yeah. So, yeah, so the meaning of the card, it says in service, but not in servitude, mm -hmm. beholden to none, traditions within spells, magic, and family, exactly. <laughs> Walking a different path, one of freedom, but also of challenges, choosing the right path despite its difficulties, maintaining independence, being powerful, power not given nor based on material goods, certainty of who you are, what you do, how you do it, and why, quiet authority that lets the forest and animals know you as which to know you as witch and friend, yeah. So somebody is really stepping into their power and honoring who they actually are. Somebody is breaking soul ties here with a karmic or whatever else. And this could be helping you come into union with your divine masculine because they're doing the same shit. Okay, I'm, I can guarantee you y'all have the same story. <laughs> Just different people, different dynamics. So this was nice Aquarius, very calm, chill reading, thank God. Okay, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and I will talk to you all later. Bye.